Jenna Drivers. <laughs> to share with you poems from different books and things just released, released recently. This is way on the table. This is nice. <laughs> oh, don't worry. Thank you. Um, is for when I would write short poems because as of late I've decided to write a poem every day of the year. <laughs> and so some of these are from this year and in a series, and this might be the last of the series, of feral memes, poem books of mine. That's not a word, feral memes. But if you like somebody's feral memes, you might like my words or my memes. So somebody came up with feral memes and I'm like, that's the coolest name ever. So I thought I'd take like my grade school photo from one kindergarten or something and have that be the cover for feral memes. And the, uh, the fun thing about this cover for this book is not only is it in a bigger typeface, but if I ever released it online, for example here, you can see I've got big photos that accompany them this is when they went online for them as well. So I will share with you a poem from this book. And it is called Quantum of Evidence. When I think about my one true love, I think of how we suit each other so. And I cannot think of a time when we have ever been apart, as if my past was not my past without him, and every moment amounted to him. I want to say I waited too long to find him, but if I cannot remember a past without him, maybe we were always meant to be before we met, before I was born, before this world began. Maybe, just maybe, and maybe I had to wait until after my life had been so hectic for so many years. Maybe I had to wait for my life to be almost taken away. Maybe that journey was finally the quantum of evidence the universe needed to bring him to me. Maybe that's when my one true love was finally ready to stop the waiting and step into my life. Because I love him. I have loved him. Look at the quantum of evidence and look at all that I've had to go through to lead to this conclusion. Because after all this waiting, this is the only way it was meant to be. Him with me. I'm glad I read that before. Well, thank you. I'm glad I read that before John showed up, so he didn't have to get all embarrassed. <laughs> for it. Um, because I had said I had written uh, poems for every day of the year, 2019. You're like, oh, there's another day. You've got to come up with something. So you look for holidays, and. After the first half of the year, I had over 200 pages of things from different events, all sorts of weird things that happened, and so it was suggested that I put it two volumes. So this is Every Event of the Year, Volume 1, January through June. I will read to you a poem from this lovely and charming book. The real humor is that this is a leather-looking cover, and I'm a vegetarian. Oh. <laughs> We do a vegan thing after, oh, <laughs> after when this is over today, but it's cool looking, right? Um, but before I read this, I'm going to tell you, it's a poem that I have to read. So I looked for an event for today. So if anybody like you had given some words that gives me ideas, today is the International Day of Peace. Hmm. So if anybody throws out words, phrases, it can help me to be able to come up with a poem for today. I would love it. So or get that peace theme going for today, since that's actually the day that it is. So, cool. international, I'm like, I'm gonna write that down so I can remember to share it with you guys. <laughs> so, because then I'm gonna have to remember to read it, and I've got stuff to, I've got stuff to do earlier today, and I gotta write a poem, what? And that'll go toward volume two, so you can help me with a poem for that. <laughs> this one, which I won't tell you what day it is, because that's in the table of contents, you'd have to buy this book in order to find out what day National Take a Chance Day is. This, <laughs> <laughs> it's in here, it's somewhere National in the day. Yeah, oh, you look for the craziest holiday things and come up with bones. So this one is uh, Zones of Comfort and Taking a Chance. Oh, Honey, I'm still free, take a chance on me. I recently heard that Mark Twain said, 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do 
than by the things you did. <laughs> Once, after I had money saved and sufficiently hated my job, I quit and traveled around the country by car, driving eight hours a day to visit old friends in new cities so I could otherwise try to get out of my zone of comfort. Months later, I got the chance to fly an airplane, and I thought, I've never done that before, <laughs> so why not? And off I went. It was fun. <laughs> Shoot, you're talking, it was fun. <laughs> later, I looked at the ravages of time and wondered what I was waiting for. So I had talked, when I talked about jumping out of an airplane years ago, so I went to Longmont, Colorado, so I could have a good view of the Tetons when I jumped from 17,000 feet above sea level. I, I was never scared, I, I'd be fine, and what's the point of fear anyway? More recently, while snorkeling, I saw at the distance what looked like white-tipped sharks sleeping along the bottom of the ocean. I had no scuba gear, but when I wasn't that deep, I thought, so I promised I wouldn't get too close, and I swam. I saw at least, I counted, at least 24, maybe 30 of these sharks, all peacefully sleeping in a perfect row. In fact, today is my scheduled day to purchase an electric hybrid American car. And come to think of it, I also heard about a man who wore a stainless steel woven metal suit so that he could literally conduct 200,000 volts from a Tesla coil to what looked like right through him. <laughs> There's this video of this man in this metal suit conducting electricity from his Tesla coil to the outstretched arm along his body and then out down the wooden stool that he was standing on and then finally into the ground. After this, I keep thinking that maybe there's a certain electricity in the air. And I have to wonder if we wear the same size, could I fit into that suit and maybe move some electrons myself? Because maybe it's true. Maybe you'll be disappointed by the things you didn't do versus the things you do. So, honey, I'm still free. Take a chance with me. And it is cool video of seeing this man. I mean, you've got a metal suit to protect your body, and all these bolts are going to you. It's just amazing to watch. And I had somebody harnessed on to me, so I'm like, they're going to die if I'm, there's a problem with me jumping out of an airplane. So I had no fear. I'm like, they'll know what to do if I screw up, but everything was wow. fine. <laughs>